Hi, it's Steve, and been out doing some shooting this morning. Been a couple months. So now it's time to check out the 6.5 Brindle. Now, I did a couple of videos on this, an introductory video, and then when I was shooting at a thousand yards. And um, I pretty much only shoot the Wolf Mil Military Classic 100 grain, um, <clears throat> mainly because it's the only thing I can afford. So, to recap a little bit, it's a Bear Creek upper, the entire upper Bear Creek. The lower I had put in a Hyper Touch Hyper Fire 24 3G trigger, which is now called a Reflex trigger. And then one of my favorite scopes off Amazon, and these things are inexpensive. Um, they're now about $41 and about $18 for this one piece mount. And it's the Exegis 6x24. Um, comes with a really nice sunshade. And um, other than that, that's pretty much it. So we're shooting out here at some rocks at about 300 yards, range with the Sig Sauer Hilo 2200 laser rangefinder. Got a little bit of wind coming from just off the right hand side. Not too bad. It's running about six to seven miles an hour. Um, now, because this one's a little bit louder, I will be wearing my head, head hearing protection this time, unlike the suppressed one in the last, earlier video, or one of the other videos. Never know what order I'm going to put them on. All right, so let's get down to shooting. Now, I got another camera set up on the target down there, so we'll see um, the hits better. I'll merge the two videos. Um, I'm not going to adjust for elevation with the turret. I'm just going to bring it up and get start getting used to where I got to aim. Uh, it's normally set for 100 yards, so this is 300. So I figure I'm going to have to come up this far, but we'll see. Once we get the Put that slammed in. The focus set. Parallax, technically, but I tend to call the focus still a lot. Okay, now there's a rock out there. I'm pretty sure I got the other camera set up on the right one. Uh, has a little orange paint on it. You can see it out there along the berm. All right, so I'm going to go one line up. And see where that puts me. Well, I'm gonna have to say that put me right on the target. Um, <coughs> that poor rock didn't stand a chance. Damn. Now I'm gonna have to adjust the other camera before I keep shooting because I don't think there's any other targets in that, that thing, in that frame. Okay, so let me find another target. Okay, there's a rock at the top of the hill. So let me get that other camera and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. Got the other camera set up. It took a couple minutes. So I'm going to edit all that boring stuff out. Anyway, we're going for another rock up here. It's paid to orange. Kind of at the top of the berm. It's a little over 300 yards. Take a quick range on it. Okay, I'm getting 310 yards, so it's right in there, it's, you know, because of the hill. It's difficult to get a precise reading on it, but I'm going to go with 310. And let's see how it does. I think I hit it. Yeah, I'm sure I hit it that time. I think I broke part of it. These uh, 6.5 Brando uh, hits pretty hard out there. Um, it's at 300 yards. It's 
to starting to tear that rock up. Another good hit. I think that one was a little low. Wind started to push me around a little bit, not too bad, but uh, that one looked a little low too. Uh, just from how much extra dust got kicked up. That was a hit. Looked like I broke some more to rock up. Uh, I'm not sure on that last one. We'll have to check the video on that. Anyway, that was my 10 rounds on this one. I usually only shoot like 10 round groups just because uh, I got so many different rifles. And I'd be here all day if I just shot 100 rounds off every time. So anyway, yeah. Uh, I gotta say I really like this rifle. Someday when I can afford to actually buy the Hornady Black, um, which is a really good match ammo, buy a, a bunch of it. I'm gonna, you know, work with that a little bit, see how that does. But right now I can't complain. All right, thanks for watching.